Welcome to the Maritime Safety Talk channel, where we bring you the latest news and insights on maritime safety and operations. I'm your host, Captain Muhammad, and I'm excited to share my knowledge and experience with you. In this channel, we'll cover a wide range of topics related to maritime safety, from navigation and communication to emergency response and equipment maintenance. Our goal is to help you stay informed and prepared for any situation you may encounter at sea. To make sure you don't miss any of our updates, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting new content regularly, so stay tuned for more maritime safety talks. Now, let's get started with today's topic. Welcome back to our Maritime Safety Channel. Today, we're discussing 10 essential safety measures that should be taken before entering an enclosed space on board a ship. An enclosed space is any place with limited openings for entry and exit, inadequate ventilation, and is not designed for continuous occupancy. It could be a cargo hold, a tank, or a tunnel. Discussing safety measures in these spaces is vital as they can present serious hazards if not properly managed. These are crucial points to ensure the safety of crew members working in these challenging environments. Before entering an enclosed space on board a ship, follow these 10 safety measures. First and foremost, conduct a thorough risk assessment. This process involves identifying potential hazards within the space and determining appropriate measures to control them. It's akin to drawing up a blueprint before construction, giving you a clear idea of what to expect and how to prepare. Secondly, don't forget about atmosphere testing. Use a calibrated gas detector to test for oxygen levels, toxic gases, and flammable or explosive substances. Think of it as your canary in the coal mine, providing vital information about the conditions inside the space. Next, ensure adequate ventilation. Proper ventilation helps maintain safe oxygen levels and removes any hazardous gases. It's like opening windows in a stuffy room, letting fresh air in and pushing harmful air out. Fourth on our list is the implementation of a permit to work system. This system controls access to enclosed spaces ensuring all safety precautions have been taken before entry. It's like a bouncer at a nightclub, only allowing access when all requirements are met. Fifth, establish clear communication channels and continuously monitor the well-being of personnel inside the space. This ensures that if anything goes awry, you'll be able to respond promptly. It's like having a lifeguard on duty, always watching and ready to react in case of emergency. Sixth, assign a competent standby person to remain outside the enclosed space. This individual is ready to provide assistance or initiate rescue procedures if necessary. Consider them your safety net, always prepared to catch you if you fall. Seventh, ensure all crew members are properly trained and familiar with the ship's safety procedures, emergency response plans, and the use of personal protective equipment. Knowledge and preparedness are your best defenses against potential hazards. Eighth, isolate, lock out, and tag out all machinery, equipment, and piping connected to the enclosed space to prevent accidental operation. It's like unplugging appliances before doing electrical work, keeping you safe from unexpected dangers. Ninth, provide and use appropriate personal protective equipment based on identified risks and potential hazards associated with the enclosed space. This equipment serves as your armor shielding you from harm. Finally, develop and review an emergency response plan specific to the enclosed space entry operation. Ensure all crew members are familiar with their roles and responsibilities. This plan is your roadmap during a crisis, guiding you to safety when every second counts. By adhering to these safety measures, you can ensure a safer working environment when entering enclosed spaces on board a ship. Let these 10 measures guide your actions, and you'll be well equipped to face the challenges of working in enclosed spaces on ships. Let's quickly summarize the key points we've discussed today. Firstly, conducting a risk assessment is crucial to identify potential dangers and to implement safety measures. Then, we have atmosphere testing, which involves using a calibrated gas detector to check for hazardous gases and oxygen levels. Proper ventilation of the enclosed space is essential, followed by the implementation of a permit-to-work system for controlled access. Communication and monitoring are key, as is the assignment of standby personnel for immediate assistance or rescue. 
Regular training and drills equip the crew with necessary skills and knowledge about safety procedures and emergency plans. Isolating the space, including locking and tagging out all connected machinery and equipment, is another critical step. Providing and using appropriate PPE is also necessary. Lastly, an emergency response plan specific to enclosed space entry should be developed and reviewed. Remember, these safety measures are not just guidelines, but essential steps to ensure your safety on board. By following these 10 essential safety measures, crew members can minimize risks and work more safely in enclosed spaces on board ships. Remember, safety is not just a checklist. It's a commitment, a mindset that can save lives. So, let's spread the word and make our maritime world safer. Thanks for joining us today on our Maritime Safety Channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more informative content on maritime safety. Stay safe and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget subscribing to get every news and I wish you a bon voyage and safe travels. I hope you found this information helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care and have a great journey.